back to Dream and Does Gaming Dream and Deer playing more Baldur's Gate 3. And we've just sold as much as we could. Um, and I think today we're going to make our way down into this section down here. Um, I kind of want to go into the goblin camp last. Seems like a good plan. Seems like the place where we need to go. So, um, in a majority of these types of games, I like to go where we're not supposed to go first. <laughs> I do like the exploration aspect. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Man, do I have a lot of um, books and things on me. Um, camp supply pack open. Actually, send all that to camp. Um, probably should like pass more of those around and stuff like that. Nope. Pass to Shadowheart. That might be good for her. Hello, cat. Apparently, my cat wants to. Um, jump on me. Send all those to Astarian, because I don't think we'll ever use, like, poisons on, at least on this character. Well, maybe. We'll see. We probably should use these. We have so many of them. Um, probably sort by type as well, just so that we have all of this. We need more bags, is what we need. Oh, well, here. Nah, do not jump up on the desk, cat. Not a good place for you. Alright, um, we can send that to camp. Actually, send both of those to camp. And what I might do then, stick all those in there to clear up some space. So now that we have that extra... Um, extra pouch. That might be good. Alchemy pouch. Oh yeah, we should probably do some of that alchemy stuff too. That to there. I feel like all that stuff can go to camp. There we go. And I really wish I still remembered what we did with the with the shaft of that. Oh well. Um, send to Carlac. Um, we can send that to Will because we'll use rapiers as well. We can send that to Starion. Just kind of clear out these inventories a little bit better. Um, so with that, do we have Speak With Animals on right now? We do not. Okay. So we kind of want to head out. We can go in a couple directions here. Just to see if there's anything of note. Collapse burrows. Okay, so that probably gets us into into the uh, the town or into one of those spots that we saw. And this just brings us up here. Okay. Um, because we we did see a few collapse burrow holes or things like that within the um, town itself. That little village. Nothing out this way, eh? Okay. I'll head back. Okay, some more rogues, more souls. Bone cap. Oh, oh and a burrow in there. Okay. Just wonder... Oh, that's just, uh... Somebody's backpack. 
That's pretty cool. Alright. Good amounts of stuff there. Uh oh. Well, there's probably a reception check. Yeah, I was wondering if there was a mound here. I was gonna just start digging. I believe you can just start digging. Holy moly. That is a lot of good stuff. Um, once per turn after the wearer dashes or takes a similar action, they can also jump. That seems like very good gloves to have. What does Carlac have on her gloves? Oh, okay, ending rages. Do you have gloves? Just strength saving throws. Yeah, that, I mean, that's really good. Strength saving throws, or if you dash, you can also jump. I think that seems a bit better. All's well that ends. Oh, not as bad as it could have. <laughs> this is very true. Swift as my feet can carry me. Okay. Do wish there was a better camera option. You just want Marina back. Who the heck are these guys? Hey, so lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped oh, hey. eyes on your poor sister. What's she doing out here? Hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We, we won't ask again. Hmm. How about all of you just calm down? What's going on here? Lower your weapon. Know this lady. It's nothing to do with me. Goodbye. Or just because she's an old woman in a swamp, she's a hag? Lay off the fairy tales, lads. Um, I feel like we should do some guidance on us here. Sweetie, be careful! He's with the hag! Don't bloody stand there gaping! Get him! Oh, great. Exactly what we want here. Anti Ethel only has one health or six health. Um, could just jump to that side of them. It's not ideal, but I mean, they are the ones that wanted to attack us, so... Uh, actually, we probably don't want to do that, because that's a short rest action. Oh, my stars! I, I didn't mean for this to happen. What happened? Sound like a heated argument? Do you know this Mariana they mentioned? Do you know this Mariana this she's mentioned? She's little sister, and she's staying with me. This is all my fault, but I made a promise. Marina begged me not to breathe the word if they came looking for her, and my word is my bond. That poor thing would be distraught. We can't let her know it would break her poor heart. I'd best get going, but please stop by my house. I'd like to thank you proper. Hmm. I think there's a little something more to Ethel than meets the eye. Yeah, there definitely is. Tattered letter. Dear Joel and Demir, don't get mad. I mean, I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. I'm going to the hag. Oh, so she could be a hag. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know he'd do the same for me. I'll be back soon. Not a word to ma'am, all right? She has enough on her plate, Irina. Yeah. Over, 
and through. I'll take that. Okay. Good times. So she is a hag. They were correct. Hags are not generally a fun thing. It's like, do we do we feel like we can deal with that right now? I don't know. That is a lot of um stuff. Chevons, potatoes, mugwort. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Investigation. Look for anything out of the ordinary. Uh, difficulty class 20. I mean... We could do that. And then also get guidance. I mean, 20 is a good size check to try... Oh, I mean, we crit. So, it's worth the, the spell. Hmm. Blink in the wilderness changes a swamp stinking and insidious assaults your senses. Well, that's not good. Hey, we're inspired. See the past, the illusion covering the swamp. All right. A putrid bog, a eh? barbed bulrush. Okay, we could probably get hurt by grabbing that loving note. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Disarm. Lovely. Let's Sounds like it's going to be a fun place, isn't it? One more back there. Okay. This loving note. Take a breather, lovelies, and have a bite to eat on me. Auntie E. Oh. Okay. Poisoned apple. Um, just sell those. Great. Um, I guess we'll roll again, but it looks like we didn't have guidance on, so this should help out. Okay, so we didn't actually need to roll again there. We could have just done this. I got it. Okay. Not ideal. This place is creepy as all heck. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Yeah. Imagine anywhere. Yeah. 
anywhere in these, like, sections. It'll be, uh, not great to go in. Nope, nope, don't just, don't just run in there. Please. Not, uh, overly, overly enthralled about going over here and checking out stuff, but we'll do it. Okay, this just brings us back to the forest, so there's, oh, there's a stuffed bear over here. A muddy note. A worn note splattered with mud attached to a doll is clearly written in a hurry. Hold this every time you miss mummy, baby, and do not leave camp back soon. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. It's a putrid bog. Lovely. Okay. Well, let's get back up over to here. Oh yeah. So here's a a camp right there. Lovely. Hmm. Half eaten apple, no. red apple. I don't like where this is going. Yeah. No ordinary creature did that. Red caps ripped this place to pieces. Red caps are like imps. Like kinda like bad gnomes. They're not very nice things, that's for sure. Um, and then there was a survival check. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Sea green dies. Okay. Well, some of these things are nice. Some of these things are not. Open wound. Okay, well we might as well just wait here for a few to, for a minute, basically. Rather not um get a second one, I imagine. Imagine if you do that again, it will be bad. Okay. Get over there. The dead. No, that's a boss. Okay. Jump over to here. A wooden trunk. Oh, saved against the open wound. Okay, that's good. Okay. So we want to be careful with what... Decrepit Sanctuary. Okay, what the heck are these things? Mephits? Ancient Mud Mephits. Okay. Well, we can get up a little bit here. Hey! Huh? 
They rolled a 18. Make them roll a... Hmm. I think we'll do that. Nice. It did work with the cutting words. Summon more methods. That's not a great thing. You can get over there to hit that one. Wait, what is this? A wood woad? Alright, we got a... Dark Vision, Magic Club, Bludgeoning and Piercing Resistance, Fire Vulnerability makes sense. Um, well we could just, go, just stay here and throw your Javelin or something. Or we could just go hit this one. I think we should just go hit that one. Oh, so close. Healing. Okay, well, hopefully they can't summon more of those. After they've summoned one. Jeez, that is a lot of things. Do we have fireball? That might be a good thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hmm. 50%. If we hit, though, it'll do extra damage, which would be nice. Okay. I mean... Probably should have dashed instead, but that's fine. Let's kind of get in the way over here. Hmm. What a bless? Or do we want to, like, bane? I wish Guiding Bolt also did some fire damage. That'd be nice right about now. Or F Sacred Flame. Um. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just do that. Nope. Alright. That is so many. Oh, they're young methods. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, ranged attack with arrow of fire should be good. I mean, this would be nominal if we didn't want to hurt. Um, ooh, they rolled a 18. Yeah, we want them to in the ancient mud method. You know what? Sure, because I kind of want to get them both here. Oh. What happened here? <laughs> Death burst force. When the method dies, it explodes with a force that deals 2 to 12 force damage to all creatures. And I bet you because it summoned that... When it dies, the summon dies, which then chain reacted over here. 
Um, okay, we might want to do this then. I kind of want to get you. No, no jumping. Okay. We're all muddy here. Oh well, I do want to get this thing there. Okay, I guess that's that there. Going for Shadow Heart? Oh no, it barely could move. That's nice. How are you guys still summoning more? Okay. Well, let's see here. Let's light them up. Ancient Mud Method. We cast this as level 2. Um... We could possibly kill all these. That was probably very close, wasn't it? Yeah, three. Okay. Hmm. Not really that worried about this thing here in front of me. Yeah, if we can move out the way, I'd be quite happy with that. Yeah. Said so not the most worried about that. 60... 55, 60, this has the best chance of killing, I think. Yeah. Okay. We'll heal up you. Um, and then just kind of stand here. Vicious Mockery... They're both in mud. You're on You're on fire. Fire. Cutting no. words. There the we go. And I would like to heal you again. Um, I wish we could just like wait. Why is that one so high defense? Okay, well, let's try this. I mean, that's pretty good. And we'll try to get out of the mud. Hmm, that could be bad. Well, they're taking a lot of damage here, which is good. Oh, it's because we're in... Oh, man. Entangled. Well, this is less good. I want to hit this guy. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, we'll do this. Because then we'll get a true strike the next time. There we go. Um, and then with me, 25, oh, because this one's got like a shield and this one doesn't. Hmm. 
Shall I compare the look at the There we go. And I'd like to just get out of these vines. Fuck yes. And then hit that one if we can. Yeah, let's make it reckless. Good crit. There you go. Okay, this is... Again, this is fine. Nice. No more of that. Still can't move or anything, but that's okay. One health left. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Well, I'd like to just have that one die. That's much more worth it. Nice. Goodness. Well, that was fun and exciting. A wood woad shield. Wood bark, weave moss, twisting branch. Oh, that's the like club it had. Okay. All right. Well, we'll give um, Shadowheart the shield, I guess. No traps, please. Agreed. Um, Shadowheart. There you go. So, what shield do you have right now? Plus one to saving throws, or being able to cast Woad's Ensnaring Strike. Which does... Attack summons thorny vines that possibly ensnare your target. I mean, that, it is nice, but it's not That's as not good, I think. Let's have a look. stuff up there vases and so forth what's that left there huh open up letter to Kaga Oladon has sent word of your progress. I am pleased that the Rite of Thorns has begun. I depart soon from Cloakwood to Baldur's Gate. Should you need further aid from my circle, now is the time to ask. Once cloistered, the Emerald Grove will be the Shadow Druid's domain and you its first Druid. In Valdorn's memory, Archdruid Aelis. Well, that's not good. Well, we thought she has had some issues with her. Second note that... Proves Kaga's in league with the Shadow Druids. This could explain why she wants the Typhlings gone. Yeah, agreed. Uh, I don't really want to confront her yet, though. Guys, why did you step in it? The Sparkle Hands. Okay. On a hit with an unarmed attack, the wearer gains two unarmed attack. Oh, okay, well. I don't have a monk. All right. Come over here and check out this side anyways. Looks like there is more stuff. And then we'll check out the top there. Feels like there would be a good spot for like digging or something over here. Um, interesting. Good to note that we can see something over there. Yeah, so slow through the uh, water in the swamp. Oh yeah, okay, I was, I was wondering. Oh, 
Okay. Lots of food. So that's actually kind of nice. Oh, that's just uh, nothing we can do with it. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, let me get back over to here. So we can get across. I don't think we need to worry about a... Um, short rest or anything. It didn't seem that bad. I guess we'll head over this way. Nice. Uh, I, maybe this way first. Oh, this is... Is this where we already were once? Oh yeah, if there was the uh, thing there. So let's head on back over here. Imagine if we go in here, there will be another trap then, because we failed that perception check. Failed that one too. What we need is like auto cast of guidance. That is what we should get. That'd be a cool mod or ability. Um, open, send all this to camp, um, send that to Gale. Gale might be able to just eat that. Carlac. Um, that's a red cap. Uh, okay. Interesting. Add to wares. Send to Carlac. Where's Carlac? Um, to where's Carlac and Carlac? There we go. Red Cap Blood Sage. What's going on over here? Doesn't, oh, hey, there's a place we can go to over here. And we can talk to them. Hmm. Great. You know, normally you guys don't need to step right on top of the things. <sighs> well, we'll wait a minute now before we talk to them and possibly get in a fight. Red caps are evil, so we'll wait until all these open wounds are closed. See if everyone gets their saving throw off of here. Nope. Starting to rot. It's not ideal. Huh. We are all diseased. Um, yeah, that is really not ideal. Let we get rid of that. We just wait. Probably, like, cure... Um, what is that one? Uh, 
What is it called? There is work to do. Um, let me go to your spell book. How do we check out? Oh yeah, spells. Here we go. There should be one. Oh, it might be a higher level though. Restoration, that's the one. Yeah, we don't have restoration. Okay. Because I'm imagining that that would be something that we could use to get rid of this. But I guess we'll just check out what we get from here. And then if it tells us that we can do anything else. I'd rather not continue exploring because, well, we're all... Hurt. I was kind of thinking of doing a short rest or... Uh, oh, we do have Lester Restoration. Why did I think we didn't? Okay, we can use that if we need to. We'll just kind of see how this works. Um, let's do Guidance on you. Salutations. And on you. Just to help out with anything like that. I didn't see that. Oh, well, whatever. It's a good time to get a drink of water. One is saved, one is not. Flesh rot. And I also failed. Vulnerable to all damage. Yeah, we will want to do this on yourself. Okay. Um. At least things have stayed interesting. Okay. Well then, I think we will use the short rest. We could do this then, aid. Everyone has a little bit of extra health for this. Because I have a feeling that we're going to need it. Because I have a feeling these guys are going to be mean. Diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. You recognize the red cap, a fey creature known for its bloodlust. Mm. Ah! That noise. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep? Ah, uh, you know what? It's because of that illusion that we dispelled earlier. It probably looks like a sheep. Take a deep breath and say... <laughs> that is funny. Okay. That is actually very, very funny. What's up for discussion? <laughs> Again, this creature doesn't realize you can see its true form. Nosy, scum-sucking, lice-ridden little ball bag. Get out! Oh, it bites tongue. Eats tongue. Oh, delicious tongue. No, we're not going anywhere. Ah, lead ya. Touch ya. Make many delicious holes. Yes. Yes! Yeah, that's... extremely creepy, to say the least. Slick 
greed. Now let's just drop back a bit here. And then what do these guys do? Multi-attack bloodlust. So they're under the effects of bloodlust. They multi-attack. Steeped in slaughter. Has advantage on attack rolls made against bleeding targets. Okay. Yeah, so we do not want to be bleeding. I have a feeling we want to kind of spread out a little bit here too. 55... 60, let's aim for that. Ah, we missed. Blood Sage. Um, okay, so we want to kill that guy. Yeah, that's no good. Need three attacks? That's not good. Okay, well, let's get up here and see if we can break at least this concentration. Ah, uh, we missed. Um, well, we don't need to worry about breaking this concentration because we just need to break him. Which I think we can do. <laughs> uh, good chance to daze, too. Nice. Uh, he saved the days, but that's okay. And then he just has to rush to even get anywhere close to us, which is fine. The things that are actually trying to attack us, we should do that too. Yeah, well, he tried to topple you. Good job, Gail. <laughs> oh well. Open wound. Oh, so you make them people bleeding. Uh, let's do this because I'd rather be able to stop them. Nice. Ah, uh, that's bad. Shocking grasp. I thought it stopped them if you hit with that. Guess I was wrong. Um. Oh, we can't take reactions, is it? Okay. I guess we just get down there and try to break this one's concentration. Or we get over here to try and break that one's. Yeah, either way. Either way, Shadowheart needs to kind of solo one right now. Ah, darn. Okay. You just need to hit this one. And hit it really good. Yeah. And he still has to dash to get close to us. Hmm, not ideal. Okay. Well, we could Bane then. To do both of these. There we go. And then just kind of be over here. Uh, because I'd like to get Gale out of there. And they both have the minus right now. Oh, that hurts. Could be worse, though. Yeah, let's hit him with the Frost Ray. And back up as far as we can. Yeah, we'll uh, Warcaster this. Good try. Stop making her bleed. Nice.
Okay. Yeah, just rush this one and just... There you go. Let's break that concentration. That's actually huge. That's even huger. We just stand right next to this one. But would you like to... Move? Oh, wait. Not too bad. Okay. Nice. Just almost got it with the, uh... Just with the reactions. Rush down and kill it. Oh, too bad. Carlac, continue doing Carlac things, i.e. hitting it in face. You know what? We can do, we can target other things now. <laughs> I love that. We have a chance to outright kill that one. Darn. Would have been nice. Good. Good. And then just get right up here on this one. Oh, huge hit. Nice, Carlac. Good job. Because I know we can't kill that one before it goes, but we could kill the other one before it goes. Oh, big hit. Nice. Hello again. Are you trying to escape us? That's not going to happen. Yeah, we'll make that reckless. How much further can I go? Yeah. Things are nasty. Wispweed. Okay, we got ourselves a whole person and protect from evil and good. And an onyx. It's been a long day. Better stop to rest soon. Agreed, we probably should. Uh, I want to go get this sigil. Riverside Tea House. So this is where Auntie Ethel is. Okay. Where the hag is. Lovely. What is over here, though? Okay. Well, usually when someone says that, um, as much as I'd like to push on through the day, they generally want... To go for a rest because they usually have something to talk about so i'm thinking we'll use this we'll do our long rest or a uh, short rest here and just kind of go explore this little back part oh yeah there, yeah there's always more we'll just go check out if there's anything back here um so there's something back here yeah there we go 
Ooh. Very nice. Second here. Okay. And that just brings us around to there. Okay. I mean, that's good. We kind of explored everything we can over here, other than maybe what's up that way. Maybe we do that really quick then. But I kind of want to explore as much as we can over here. Because we're going to go into a, a long rest. Reinforced greatsword. Reinforced helmet. Sword and a hat. Wonder whose. Interesting. like the sound of whatever the heck that was okay so this just brings us to like a behind hiss ribbit hiss held frog What is this place? What is it covered by an illusion? Bad. Wind. What are you croaking Wind. on about? A chill runs up your spine. There is something wrong with this creature. Very wrong. Hmm. Uh, what's wrong? What is it? Go me, you're the size of my... Size of my boot. What in the hell? Okay. What in the heck is this thing, right? So it has mirror image on. When it ses successfully evades an attack, one of the images disappears. Okay. So we don't really want to hit it with a melee attack, I guess, is what we want to do get rid of that there we go oh it still has a third mirror image There we go. Now it won't. Oh, I didn't want to have a opportunity. I just wanted to be close enough, so... Oh, it used to jump. Oh my goodness, what the heck is this thing? Okay, do not like whatever the heck this thing is. 15% high... Defense still. Oh, because it's got a 20 call or 20 deaths. What the heck? Intelligence must be higher, more five or more. There we go. That'll help. Well, you can jump right up to it too. 
mean, we might as well reckless it. What? So, addled frog? What the heck? Well, that was lovely. Imagine that. Um. There's probably something we could do with that with the hag. Maybe we need to go to hag first. I don't know. Ooh, money. But too late now, for we've killed it. I mean, it did try to kill us. It almost succeeded. Which is insane, because it was a frog. Okay. I guess we'll just come up over to here. The heck is this guy? What the heck is this? There's just always so much more stuff. Hello? Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Um, you're a monster hunter? Not what I imagined. <laughs> Perhaps that's why I survived so long. Where more fearsome peers have not. You would be wise to look past the seeming of things. If you intend to bargain with the lady of this house. That is why you came to her lair, I take it. To bargain. Um. The lady of the house? Name than some I could call her. But it is what she is that ought to concern you. Her kind have hidden among us since the first darkness. And their knowledge is matched only by their spite. Know how to ask, and they'll share that knowledge. If you're fool enough to pay their price. Speak. Speak plainly, what is she? A terrible foe. That, I cannot decide for you. For my part, I need her knowledge. The thing I hunt has gone to ground. If she can tell me how to flush him out. I'll pay whatever price she asks. Alright. Well, let's see what you have. First off, he has two gold. Garlic. Which is kind of funny. Uh, now he has 36 gold. You know what? Let's buy your arrows and stuff. And would you like some poisoned apples? longbow is actually too much for him. That's funny. There you go. Makes your spear. Done. Um. Go ahead. The lady of the house who is it you're hunting? Like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it. Or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. <laughs> Maybe I can help you with my hunt? I mean, seems like a easy enough thing to do. No, this duty is mine alone. But for such an offer, an answer at least is owed. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarian. Ah. I'm bound to bring him back to Baldur's Gate, alive. Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? Hmm. What does your tribe want with a creature like that? Recently attacked in the night. Our camp set upon by a band of vampire spawn. In the chaos of battle, one of them stole away with our children. We've been searching for them ever since. We believe this Astarian knows exactly what happened that night and where to find our little ones. 
Interesting. Captain, my people will make him talk. So I ask again. Is he known to you? I think we have uh, some talking to do with uh, Astarian. We've met. He's not the type to come quietly. You do know him. I don't suppose you'll tell me where he is. I honestly don't know where he is. As you say, then I must redouble my efforts and pray my delay costs no more lives. And he seems nice enough. Stand by one's friend in the face of danger. But Let's we hope it doesn't come back to bite me later. We do need to go and talk to Astarian now, too. Okay. Well. We get up there. Actually, no, we can't because that's not part of the map. Okay. Well, let's head back down to here because, you know, we're at the sigil. Before we get into any of this stuff, let's make it to camp. And also, I want to go over like okay we've been a monster hunter looking for a star and we kept our camp's location a secret okay so you got some talking to do i've known people who are hungry for power but gail takes it a bit too literally for my liking i wonder how he does it why he does it I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. <laughs> um, there you go. I met a monster what? hunter in the swamp. Who? What happened? Uh, he wanted to capture you, bring you back to Baldur's Gate. Or you're safe. Now tell me why you have a hunter on your tail. Why? Because Cazador sent him. Why else? Tell me about this hunter. He obviously wasn't a vampire. Was he dragonborn? An orc? Something ferocious, surely. Human, mild mannered, gur. A gur? A monster hunting vagabond? Fuck. His people are the reason I'm like this. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Cazador not appeared and saved me. Um. Saved you by turning you into a vampire slave, or he appeared just when you needed him? Sounds convenient. Maybe he was just drawn to the smell of blood. The point is, I have history with these barbarians Cazador's sending a message he's reminding me of his power even in the middle of nowhere he can reach me and he wants me back okay but why capture you new and not just kill you or don't worry you're safe with me How concerned should we be? Vigilant. Keep our wits about us and kill any monster hunters on sight. Mm. I don't know about that last part. Uh, Why tell me about your history. On exhuming the past, I was a slave, a vampire spawn, kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, so Shadow Dark Heart doesn't actually have something to talk about, but we should probably just end the day it might come out here at night no it is not interesting 
Because usually when they say something like that, I've found that they have something to talk about. Okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't hurt to still even go and talk to her. So, Gail just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. Agreed. Okay. So nothing, nothing of uh, importance then. I'll give it a shot. And we'll just end the day. Uh -huh. You could just auto select, I guess. Um, but not that. Anything that's just two supplies. Yep, there we go. Okay. Oh yeah, see, someone does. Oh, Scratch has something for me. Okay, well, then... Where art thou, Scratch? Oh, there he is. The dog holds a well-chewed ball oh. in his mouth. Hand that over. All right. It's only fair that you enjoy it too. But if you feel like throwing it, I wouldn't mind that at all. Pet him. Mm. Okay. So if we, I think we can just like throw that right. They fetch with the dog. Oh, that's actually pretty adorable. And he just brings it back. Awesome. Um, oh yeah, it's just the mirror. So I don't know. Yeah, so it doesn't look like anyone uh, actually has anything to talk about. Okay. Well, I mean, this is a good time to end this session. Next time, do we go into Auntie Ethel's house, the hag herself, and see what we can do there? Um, maybe. We'll see. Um, we could do that, or I guess we're not uh, here. Let's let's go to here. I don't know if this is the party that I would want to do that with. Um, well, maybe. Gail. Do we have anyone for, like, dispelling illusions? Like, you kind of want to take Gail and anything like that. Because he's got the high arcana and in intelligence. It's a long way to go still. Shadow Heart for the restoration. It's like Carlac, or would we take Lysel? Yeah. No, we'd have to see. Whoever it is that we would take, give them a bunch more arrows, too, to help out. Okay, but that's going to be it for this session, so thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.